All right, hey folks, Emily here. Uh, today, you are gonna learn how to deploy language models on AWS Trainium and in Frenchia. Let's dive in. All right, so you've learned about the accelerators, you've learned about how you wanna move data faster, you've learned about the Neuron SDK, hopefully you have your development environment set up, you've landed a Neuron DLAMI, you're using your Python virtual environments, you're connected into your instance, and you ran uh, some commands. You Maybe you did a Neuron LS uh, to make sure you have all of your accelerators and that you can access them easily. Now we're gonna take a look at the inferencing stack that you can use in order to run inference with your language model. So NXD inference. So again, NXD inference, the basis of this is PyTorch. And this is PyTorch that we maintain to run really nicely on the rest of our stack. So we maintain the integration between PyTorch and XLA, again, through that PJRT lowering to eventually hit the Neuron compiler and then drop down to runtime. And so through PyTorch, we bring up the modeling library, which is NXD Core. Again, NXD Core has Python APIs, Python-esque APIs, PyTorch APIs, that you can use to develop on top of to bring up support for your model on Trainium, again, using NXD Core. And so once you've developed support for your model using NXD Core, you can add that to the NXDI library, which enables you to access many inference modules that help you improve the performance of your model and develop better features for your customers. These are things like KV caching, quantization, prefix caching, expert parallelism, multi-LoRa serving, disaggregated inference, sharded experts, and so many capabilities that you can use out of the box when you've connected your model to NXD and develop support for that with NXD inference. Additionally, we have many models that are pre-built, work out of the box that you can pull down and run and test with your content today. We have dense models like language models, mixture of expert models, multimodal models, all available in the NXD inference hubs. On top of that, we have support for many higher level applications and frameworks like VLLM, Rayserve, Hugging Face TGI, and the Triton model server. And this entire stack composes what we call Neuron X distributed inference. So NXDI is a great way for you to test out support for models that are already available in the model hub and develop support for new models that you would like to see better optimized. So with that, let's take a look at the demo. Today we're gonna to talk about how to deploy VLLM model on, a, on EC2 a instance with neuron devices. We're going to start with the AWS uh, uh, neuron documentation page. Look at the startup page. I'm gonna choose the PyTorch and then choose the inference option. From there, we're gonna to go to the setup guide and there we have three options. We're gonna choose the Ubuntu uh, option in that case and more specifically gonna use the DLAMI. And from there, this is all you need to know uh, in terms of where to start. So let's go through it. Gonna launch an instance, my VLLM server. Choose the AMI that uh, we discussed before, check few uh, options, and then choose the instance type, TRN1, uh, 32XL, uh, the keeper, if you want, and then uh, make some room in your uh, default uh, storage and launch the instance. That's gonna take uh, two minutes uh, for the instance to get ready. I'm gonna check a few uh, things like the DL AMI that we chose and then connect through it. The next step for us will be to um, check the instance and the tools that uh, came with, uh, with that uh, AMI. And uh, for that, we are going to first uh, add the neuron 
tools into the path and look at the neuron LS. That's going to list all the neuron devices that we have here, uh, 16 devices, and this is neuron top, which is going to uh, show you how the, these neurons uh, devices are being used. So now that we have everything, let's install VLLM. You can see here that we're installing VLLM from the VLLM upstream a uh, project on GitHub uh, with the neuron uh, device option. Next, we are going to update the neuron uh, distributed uh, uh, X um, packages since just in case that these were updated uh, since the AMI was published. And that's it. We're ready. We're just going to install. Uh, we are going to now launch the, the model. Here we use uh, Llama 3.18b. We're going to use a uh, maximum modem length of 128 and use tensor parallelism of 8. What I mean by that is that we're going to run in inference. The inference will uh, span across four devices. And we're going to see that uh, after the deployment. So here, what uh, what um, uh, what's going to happen? It's going to start downloading uh, all the weights and the modular artifacts from a hugging phase. You can see here, and then once that's done, the compilation uh, process will uh, start. Here we have the compilation uh, process almost done. It went through um, most of its uh, passes. This is just to show you uh, how uh, how it looks like. I fast forward that so you will not stare at the, at the screen uh, with me for 10 minutes. But uh, once that's done, it's going to start uh, the API server to um, be ready for an inference request. And here you have, it's, uh, it's ready. And uh, in order not to kill that process, we are going to start another uh, connection and we're just gonna issue a curl uh, request against that uh, endpoint and see what happens. Make another connection. See, we got a response. But uh, to make it more interesting, let's uh, run it in a, in, a, in a while loop, an infinite while loop, so we can uh, look at uh, Neuron Top, the tool that I showed you uh, before. So this is going to run for five minutes, for five, sorry, every five seconds. And you can see that it is uh, invoking the model. Make another call so we can uh, look at the neuron uh, top uh, output and see how the neuron core are being used. Remember, we use tensor parallel 8, which means that's going to use 8 cores, which means that it's going to be two devices, uh, uh, four devices in, in the case of TRN1, uh, the TRN1 instance. Let me edit the path, the neuron. Okay. And now every five seconds, there is a request that comes from this infinite loop that I showed you before. And let's see what happens. You can see here, the neuron devices are being used and there are specifically eight of, uh, of them. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, Yahav, for the demo. Great to see the connect into the instance. Uh, great to see using VLLM and then even that uh, neuron top command that lets us double check the utilization of the cores. Uh, and so you can go learn about many models that are well supported today, whether that's on the neuron documentation or Hugging Face Optimum Neuron. Hugging Face Optimum Neuron and NXDEI both have many models that are well supported today. You can easily pull these down to check them out, test them, and understand the capabilities.
And so again, wanted to say a giant thank you to the entire team who makes this possible. We have so many hardworking Amazonians, engineers, developers, dreamers, and builders who wake up every morning to solve customer problems on AWS Trainium today uh, in order to run inference with language models. And so thank you uh, to everyone who makes this possible. We would not be here without you. So with that, see you next time.